All right, what's up guys? It's Monday, September 25th. I got training in about an hour. Just got a stretch in right here. It was still hard, even though I put down a blanket and a yoga mat. You gotta, you gotta make do with where you're at. I wanna give a quick injury update. My collarbone still feels like it could pop out at any second, which is really fucking annoying. And then my left knee, all of a sudden, out of nowhere last night, just started hurting like a bitch, so. That's that's great, man. We love that. Yeah, I hope it's nothing serious. I don't know what it was. I was sitting on the bed. I got up and it literally felt like I couldn't walk. Like every step was just like aching pain and it feels really stiff. So I tried to stretch it out. Ryan told me to do this knee strength exercise for it. He said it kind of like helps strengthen the muscles in the knee and around the knee to try to prevent injuries. So I've been trying to do this every day. Hopefully it actually does something, but you basically take this arm like a rear naked choke, grab your bicep like this, and you go behind the knee and then you just go up and down like that. You, know, you start to feel it get like kind of hot and that means it's like working out the knee. So it's like, it kind of hurts on my forearm, bro. It's like digging in my forearm. All right, we'll see if that does anything doing that every day. But yeah, my body is just like, maybe I'm a pussy, man. I don't know. I just like, this sport is like hard on the body. It's probably because I'm so new. I'm just like starting to get into it, getting thrown around and shit. I'm just trying to stay injury free, man. Like that would suck so bad if I got hurt and I couldn't do the ultimate goal of this whole thing, which is compete. Prayers up that I can stay healthy. Bottle's empty. <laughs> that wasn't as cool as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it's Conor McGregor's Tidal Sports Cryotherapy Spray. Not a sponsor, by the way. As much as I wish it was. Um, I don't know if that actually does anything, but during training yesterday, my knee scared me. It really started to hurt. It's felt tight and just like sore for the past few days. So I hope it's nothing serious. Ryan says he's gonna get me a brace, kind of as like preventative measures to wear during training to hopefully avoid uh, further irritating it. But um, yeah, I'm about to head to training right now. It's a one-on-one -on -one private session again today. I promise we're gonna start like filming more of the intense sparring that we're doing in the group classes. We need a little bit more time. So I had a great role yesterday. We should have filmed, but unfortunately we forgot, but we will. Also, I just got this new guitar. Look at this thing, man. This thing is sexy. It's a Fender. It's like the first nice guitar I've ever owned. Basically like I'm still homeless. So I, uh, I couldn't bring my guitar down here to Florida. I didn't have room in the car because all my shit's in the car. But Lefty said I could just store it back here in this room. So, but the problem is like now i just want to stay here and play it like i don't even want to go train that's like how i am i just like once i like lock in on something i get like obsessed with it and it's like all i think about so like now i'm just thinking about playing this fucking guitar like i want to keep playing it shit's so fun but gotta stay disciplined you know i gotta keep my eyes on the prize which is not getting choked out in the first round of the competition which would be very depressing so that's not gonna happen and in order for that not to happen, I need to train. I'm gonna pack up all my shit, probably go get like a protein bar or something. You know, I'm not one of those guys that can train fasted. I don't know how people do that. Train on an empty stomach. I feel like I'm gonna collapse. And uh, yeah, head over there right now. I'm gonna bring the black belt with, and when I go to put my gi on in front of Ryan, I'm just gonna put this on and see what he does. This right here, guys, is the best protein bar money can buy. I wish they were sponsoring me, but they're not, you know. If any protein bar companies or hydration companies out there want to sponsor me, hit my line, guys. I need some because I eat a ton of this shit and drink a ton of like hydration stuff. Let me show you what I'm about to get to drink. You don't want to get any of this like sugary shit right here, guys. It's not optimal, you know. What you want to get is Gatorade Fit. This shit's actually like not bad for you. It's not like amazing or anything but at least it has like salt and like no sugar and watermelon juice all that stuff's gonna hydrate you ideally you would get something with potassium and magnesium in it too i usually get like the square gatorades that have that with zero sugar because like that's what you sweat out salt magnesium potassium as long as it has like sodium with salt like that's better than a ton of processed sugar all right i got a little surprise for you guys Got the 
knee brace on. I think this is gonna save me from a future. Yeah, I thought it was funny putting on a knee brace on a black belt, bro. <laughs> I have my black belt, but I don't know how to put on an e-brake. Bro, oh, Ryan's fucking me up today. Oh, fuck. I have a chest cramp right here. You need those electrolytes, bro. I know. Should I go down and get you that gator? Yeah, I left my Gatorade downstairs. You trying to go see if it's down there? Yeah, stay here. I got you. Thank you, bro. Bro, save the Gator day. Save the day. Oh. <laughs> it feels like it feels like I'm reaching up for a light pack, bro. Like I just died in war or something. All right, so this is when you started down here, and this is four months worth of work right here. This is when you compete. This is where I want you to be. So right now, I'd say you're about right here. This is halfway right here. You're about right here. I'll take it. As a white belt, you're right here. So you're progressing very fast because the normal white belt that trains for three three weeks. I mean. He's still being ground zero. Uh, we're about to go see if these guys will believe that Ryan is a white belt. We'll try to get some rolls with them. I got his purple belt on right now. I don't even know, dude, you're Yeah. We're trying to get him some rolls for like his progress video. I mean, I'm not really good. I'm good. How long have you been doing it? Six months. He's like a month in. All right, come on. I'm just trying to get him some cardio and some. Dude, come on. Just chill. Don't be nervous. I mean, no, but I'm saying, are you guys doing no gear? We're doing the uniform. I mean, I've never done no gi before, so I mean, I can try. I mean, you're a purple belt. Yeah. What belt are you? Uh, I mean, I just started. I'm a white. Don't let him get grips on you, Ryan. Don't let him get grips. Don't let him do that. Don't let him get to your back. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Turn towards him. Turn towards. Him. Dude. You gotta turn into the choke. Don't let nah, him take your back like that. Back nah, I'm sorry, I won't go that aggressive. I'm so sorry. No, I, I'm not mad. Uh, I'm sorry. No, nah, it's okay. He needs to learn somehow. Just wh actually whoop his ass. He needs to learn somehow. Like, whoop his ass. Dude, come on, watch. He, he's like, I'm not. He, he doesn't pay attention in class and shit. There you go. Pass, pass, pass that leg. Pass that leg. Yes. 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 Get the side control. There you go. Now try to get to the mount. Try to get that knee over his stomach. Get out of his half guard. Get that leg out. There you go. There you go. Yeah, right there. Try to get that leg over. There you go. Slap it on. Slap it down. Get the mount. Get the mount. There you go. Yeah. Stay there. Hold it for a little bit. Now start working for an arm. Start working to get an arm free. This? Yes, work to throw up that arm bar. You remember how I taught you the arm bar? Oh. Like that. Throw the leg over. Throw the leg over. Like yo, that. Yo, there you go. You are doing you. that way too aggressive. There yo. you go. Yeah. No, it's hard. But you taught me that, like. You gotta chill. You gotta chill. That's what you taught me. I think he let you do that, though, so he's not gonna let you do it this time. He's not gonna let you do it this time. You actually gotta work. There you go. There you go. No, stop fucking yanking. God damn! You're fucking yanking it, bro. You're gonna break, fucking break my hand. That's not even like a. That's not even like a fucking. Bro, it's serious. Break my fucking hand. Oh, just be. Like, it doesn't have to be fucking buzz. It's like his third time sparring. He's Ryan. Don't. Don't crank it. Don't crank it. Here. Now get the mount. Get the mount. Work for an arm triangle. Work for an arm triangle. No, get, you got a trap. Okay, take his back then. Oh, oh. Take his back, get on top, get on top. Get on top, there you go. Keep your hooks in. There you go, now start working for the neck. Start working for the neck. Don't let him slip out like that. I don't wanna hurt him again, Sensei. Yeah, don't. Just don't yank it, bro, oh, you can do it. Just don't yank oh, it. Oh, yeah. All right, just. I'll tap, I'll literally tap if you get it. Just don't yank it. I don't wanna do it, Sensei, I'm scared. No, just go, bro, just chill. Dude. There you go, keep the mount. I'll try to get his arms up by his head. Get the high mount. No, don't give it up. Don't give it up. What are you doing? Get your leg back over. Get your leg back over. Never give up that position. Okay, take his back. Okay, hold it. Break his grip. Okay, good. Good. Damn, he's doing some ninja shit. 
Uh, Keep your weight heavy. I am. Stay heavy on them. You're coming up too much. I'm trying to go inside. You are. No. Don't scratch me next time, bro. Sorry, my bad. You already forgot the arm triangle I showed you yesterday? No, but he scratched me. My bad, my bad. That happens sometimes. Don't be a pussy. No, but he's telling me not to pull his arm and he's scratching me. Guys, no, I'm sorry. Just don't be a pussy. Come on. Keep going. No, I'm saying, I'm saying sorry. Bro. Yeah, he said sorry already. Dude, look at this shit, man. Bro, he said sorry. Keep going. Get the choke. Finish it. Tight. Get it tight. Good. Hey, right, you did all right. You did all right. You still, you gotta work on keeping the mount when you have it. You good? You give it up too easy. Is he good? He needs to work on his cardio. Yo, what the fuck? I wasn't even ready, bro. Hey, he wasn't. Hey, Ryan, start, stop, 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 stop. Before you go, you gotta flat bomb. You can't just dive in on him. I thought you were better than most people that started. I kept the receipt. Going easy on me. Damn, you're gonna take that from him? I'm just joking. You're gonna take that from him? He's having fun, but I need him. Yeah, hey, I wanna be that strong. Don't be nice, bro. Don't worry, bro. I'll, I'll go with you. He's like 200 pounds. You have to see the to practice. There's a weight difference here. It doesn't matter, bro. Bro, sometimes in fights, they're gonna have the weight advantage. You can't just back out of every fight just because they have the weight advantage. That's the whole point of jujitsu, is that the smaller guy can take the bigger guy. Don't let him get grips on you, Ryan. What do I do? Keep passing. Get the knee on the belly. Pass up. Put on the bicep. Put on the bicep. Where? Your foot. Foot. Uh -huh. Hold. Yeah. It's about control. So you come. You have your feet placement perfect. Good job on that. Right? But when you come back, depending on your training buddy, to give him the chance to kind of work through the move, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Are you done or do you want to go one more? Are you too scared of the weight advantage or are you going to grow some balls today? If I die, die here, I guess. You're not gonna die, bro. What if I'm getting choked? I fall asleep. Tap. Pull you, bro. Pull your pants up, Ryan. Keep the connection. Don't let him pass you. Oh. There you go. Pass. Pass. Get those legs to the side. There you go. Start working to take his back. Stay. Keep the hooks in. Can I pull fingers? No. Put your leg up across his stomach. And, and lock it. Okay, never mind. That's too advanced. Start working for the choke. Get it under the neck. Get it under the neck. Under the chin. I appreciate you guys, though. Thank you. Thank you, man. Bro. I think they were kind of scared because I was pulling it fast, but I was like yeah. stopping right here. Yeah. If this guy wanted to break his arm, his I arm would break man. in a second. This guy's put me in arm bars before, and it's like, I hold it. It's I fast. You think it. like you might think because it's fast, but like once it gets like here, it's not like he's like extending it. He just holds it. All right, it's two thirty in the morning. I got back from training like four hours ago. While I was at training, I had this like pain in my chest on the left side and like my lower rib cage, and I thought it was like a muscle cramp, but this shit still hasn't gone away, and like it just it keeps getting worse. Like it hurts really bad. And I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if it's very visible, but this is not like abs right here. This is literally swelling. Like that's that's not usually there. Like if I move the wrong way, it's just like shooting pain. And then like, if I can't lay on my left side at all. So I don't know what happened. I pray to God I didn't break my rib. Like it's like hard to breathe, it like hurts. <clears throat> so I'm about to take some ibuprofen right now so I can hopefully get some sleep tonight. And then I guess I'll just have to see like if it still hurts in the morning and kind of assess it from there. I would suck so bad if I broke my rib though. I'd be so, so upset. It's just one fucking thing after another. Like, seriously. Injuries fucking suck. Like, this hurts so bad. Four, three, two, one. That's actually impressive though. Hey. Wow. Four. You got it, low. Three. Shake my hand. Two. Ready? One. Step in. Go. go. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, almost fell. Go, 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 go. go. Get down. Get down. Get down. Oh my God. Come on. My feet. 30 seconds in. Come on. Dude, for real? You got this. That's it. You don't have your shoulders in. I have it. To pretend. My hey, shoulders in, bro. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop moving. Stop moving. Try not to move. <laughs> 20 more seconds. Oh my god. My nipples. Not even in the water. Stop, stop. <laughs> stop making me laugh. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> stop, stop, stop. Stop. Please bro, that's gotta out. be it. That's gotta be it. Right, yeah. 18 seconds. Bro, you fucking liar, bro. You <laughs> yeah, you see, it's all psychological. It's all psychological. Five, it's all psychological. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. Oh, give me that fucking towel. Yo, my leg. Ah, bro, it's like pins and needles. Bro. Yeah, literally. Oh, bro, that was so much worse than the first time. We did the two minutes, though. Let's go, baby. We did it. Let's go. Thank you. You're doing it? Oh, remember that? The fucking ice, bro. It hurts. Take a sip. Take a sip. Get your shoulders in. Get in. Get in, Dan. Bro keeps the beer in his hand. Hey, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get some? Can I get some? I can't swallow. I can't swallow. <laughs> Michael. I couldn't swallow the beer, bro. It was a good day today. Very tiring. Um, bad news is my knee was really starting to bother me. My left knee. It was just getting super stiff and like tight and kind of painful. It would be when I was like sitting and like the instructor was saying something and we were sitting there for like a few minutes and then when i got up just like it just like hurt so like i really hope this isn't anything serious in my mind i'm trying to be like it's not anything because i don't want to think it into existence and like create a problem that doesn't need to be bigger than it is training was good i promise we're gonna start filming more of these roles i i talked to ryan and he said he'd be down to like help film because we had some good roles today i uh i rolled with this wrestler who had like at least probably like 30 pounds on me he was significantly bigger than me and i was able to like pretty much control him the whole time and like submit him like three times and kind of execute a lot of the things we've been working on which feels good because it's like the that's the point of jujitsu is that the smaller guy can get the best of the bigger guy with the proper technique so is it encouraging to be able to hit like sweeps and submissions and things like that that was a little encouragement for me today because it has been a rough couple days i'm not gonna lie like just like shit outside of jujitsu and things like that going on and kind of been stressed about the future and things and a big theme of this is like going back to the little wins that's like what i need to keep going back to and keep remembering about this whole process is it's all about little wins because it can get very overwhelming if you think about it all at once and all on such a broad scale you can kind of like psych yourself out so i'm really trying to look at the smaller things more now but other than that um we're back tomorrow i think we're doing another one-on-one -on -one, me and ryan tomorrow it's gonna be a few more weeks of training probably like we're training right now and then we're really gonna start to pick it up and dial it in and up the intensity up the cardio i'm probably gonna go on like a better diet and things like that and get prepared for a weight cut all of that to get prepared for the competition um because i want to give myself the best opportunity i can in order to do that you have to be prepared one of my favorite quotes of all time is luck is where preparation meets opportunity a lot of people say oh you got lucky with this you got lucky with that but they don't even take into consideration the years and years of preparation that you put to take advantage of that one moment that one chance that you had where it looks like luck but that luck was all of that preparation put into that one moment that's kind of what i'm trying to apply here so yeah thank you guys for watching as always love you peace